local hospital that's making some changes to protect its patient staff and even visitors during the coronavirus outbreak. Prisma Health Greenville is ramping up COVID-19 testing for people showing any symptoms. Fox Carolina's Michelle Zhu is live there now where uh, that testing starts this morning. Margaret Ann, good morning. We are just about 45 minutes from that testing beginning this morning. And as you said, Prisma Health of Greenville here on Grove Road is making several changes to protect their staff and visitors and employees from exposure to the coronavirus and also to lower the spread. They are beginning testing, drive through testing, that is, this morning right out front of their campus. But you do have to qualify for that. They are asking that you bring in documentation from your health care provider uh, saying that they have ordered you to come get tested out. Um, and that could be either done in person or virtually. They are providing virtual screenings on the Prisma Health website uh, to avoid risking infecting others by stepping into the doctor's office. And it is for people who think they may have symptoms like fever, cough, or shortness of breath. Now, if your health care provider gives you an order to get tested in person, again, that's when you'll show up here at the Greenville campus for that drive-through testing. And this is not for the general public, and they cannot serve people without that official order. So here's what you need to know. You must have your ID ID and provider order ready in hand. Testing hours will be from 9 o'clock to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And testing is located at the lower level of the south parking deck to the right when you drive in. Just look for the red tents all set up there in the lower level. And also Prisma Health is implementing a visitor restriction this morning uh, to keep it a safe place to continue receiving care. Now they're only allowing one visitor per patient. Visitors will be asked if they're showing symptoms of fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, or nasal congestion. They'll also be asked if they've traveled out of the country or have been exposed to someone with COVID-19. And finally, children under 18 years old are asked to not visit unless approved by their doctor. And that visitation policy takes effect this morning. And as for that drive-through testing, that will begin at 9 o'clock this morning. It'll, it'll last all week long, but again, not open to the public. You must have your proper documentation in hand, and it will be at the front of this campus behind us. Back to you. Some good tips there. Yeah, you don't want to get there and not have the essentials that you need to get through it to get that testing. So we'll appreciate it and we'll uh, check back in just a bit, Michelle.